Hey guys, this is Richard from Reef.com and Aficionado, and we are here in the first inaugural Reef Retreat. Yes. And I'm here with my good friend Todd. Todd, how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Very good. Very how good. are you enjoying the show? You know, this show was so unique, I rarely have a chance to sit down and actually learn, or yeah. like attend yeah. the talks and speeches and etc. But this was so different, right? Yeah. And then we were able to just sit down, like, you know, we didn't have to worry about anything, just sit and learn all day long. Right. It's right. not a frag event, it's not a hustle and bustle, there's only a few right. vendors here, and they're more here to sponsor the event than they are trying to sell and sell stuff. So it's great that all of us can now, even I can go sit there and listen to the to the conference all, all weekend long. Right, you don't have to man the booth. You no. know, that's, a, that's excellent no. for you, right? Yeah, I love it. And I actually was stopping by here because I briefly saw this and covered this in Rap Orlando, yeah. right? But you weren't there because you had to go to another conference for yeah, the I was public Raw. aquariums, yep. right? Yep. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about this unit here called o from Ocean Sea Wave. Can okay. you tell us a little bit more about these units here? Sure, so Ocean Sea Wave is made in the UK. We are the US distributor for this product. Right. We uh, launched this product early last Last year, sure. or, I'm sorry, middle of last year, and we we brought these in about uh, I think October, November of last year. So we've been have we've been selling these units for the past eight months. Okay. Basically, what they are is a, is a servo motor inside, sure. which rotates the the angle of your power head. Sure. So there is a couple different models. You have the coral here. The coral is designed to do a 90 degree oscillation with okay. a preset speed. Okay, it's the base unit. The next one is the Pacific. Okay. Pacific is designed to do a 180 degree sweep. Sure. It's an adjustable speed okay. and an adjustable uh, range as well. Okay. And then the new unit we're going to have out is the Pro. This is designed for bigger pumps, bigger power heads. That was designed for ACI. They wanted to use the Voyager 10s on there. Right. And for something a lot of that much flow, they beef this box up and they put a stepper motor in there. So that gives it more strength for the, for the, for the, for the, to handle all that flow in there. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, it's whenever I talk about waves, yeah. like or, or in, in our aquarium, I always think about Jake. Yeah. Because you remember, like you had an article before, and I know it was a, somewhat of a jest, but it was serious at the same time. Right. The waves are the most important thing, more important Flows than the license. Right, 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 right. Right. So I still remember remember that, and something like this is unique because it just creates that flow, and there's right. no dead spot. Right. Correct. So if you have two wave makers on the side, and yeah. you have one of these in the back or in the corner, you're going to create more dynamic flow because you can change. The, the angle of that, you can mm -hmm. change the speed of that, and those, that current, that pattern is never going to be the same. So while these are pulsing back and forth, right. and this is rotating, right. you're never going to have that same current. So it's going to help you uh, distribute it more to the detritus around there, mm -hmm. blow that out of, out of the mm -hmm. corners, and allow you to get, get less dead spaces inside of there as well. Right. So, so what I was thinking, right, is that if you, if I were to have this, then I could get rid of some of my like additional power heads and sure. just use certain few of these sure. and just go around. And with these, you don't need an expensive wave maker pump, a okay. standard CT Voyager, something that you just plugs in with a standard solid flow. Right. You don't really want to be pulsing it on this unit because that puts a little strain and flex on the on the shaft. Mm -hmm. So you just a standard flow. Yeah. Um, and you can set the intensity that you need for that application or where you're gonna where you're gonna mount it. Um, but that that alone saves you some. Money, instead of buying the expensive power head, it offsets the cost of this unit. Gotcha. And what are the like weight limitations? Like, because I know that some pumps are a little bit heavier than the other. So they'll handle most pumps that can do about two to two thousand to twenty five hundred gallons per hour. Okay. So there's a couple different mount options. So there are three different Nero mounts. Okay. So they pop in place, and the advantage of the Nero mount is actually center lines the, the pump mm -hmm. on the shaft. So, so instead of this being offset like this and yeah. taking up much more room, the Nero one speaks its center, so you have less uh, protrusion there. Um, the magnet mounts, you have uh, a couple different options. So you have the regular horizontal one, mm -hmm. and then you have the hemisphere one. So if you want to put the pump this way and you want to mount it underneath, you can do that. Okay. And if you want to go crazy, you know, if you've got a big trough, you oh, can put two pumps on Right, right, right. Yeah. So you okay. can put a pump on the back sides, yeah. use the, coral, use the uh, coral to do a 90 degree sweep on there. Yeah. Now on an eight foot trough, right. you got four foot of flow this way, four foot of this flow that way, right. and then you have your corners working on from there. So gotcha. that's another advantage of that. So gotcha. it's not hard to, to do that. As well. And you guys sell all the adapters and additional yeah. parts as well? Mm -hmm. So the, basically you buy the drive unit as, well, as one piece, right. and then you decide what pump you're going to mount with that, and then right. you buy your drive, your drive shaft to match the pump that you're going to use free application. It allows you, if you change pumps, you can change the drive shaft out later. So, so this is pretty much universal with almost every pump out in the market? Any, yeah, any magnetic any magnetic mount pump or any yeah. of the Nero's because they, they pop on and if there's some kind of pump that you're looking for to use, you can sure. reach out to us and we can see if we get a, a bracket made 
for example, the Pro here, right. this was designed for uh, CG Voyager for ACI. Right, um, Mecca, told me about that before. Like, yeah. yeah. Chris didn't want any magnets in the tank, so mm -hmm. we decided, okay, we, we can centerize the, the pump on mm -hmm. the shaft, yep. create the same bracket that the Voyager has, and make yep. it modified so it fits the shaft. Mm -hmm. um, that, that means that he can then adjust the height on these by cutting it shorter if he wants. Yeah. Um, I also didn't mention this. These are telescopic, right? So you get this out of the box. Um, you get about a 12-inch displacement right here. Sure. You can actually loosen this up, and you can telescope that down to about 18 inches. Oh, okay. Right? So now, if you want, to, if you have a shorter tank, right. and you want to take this off, and you want to make it shorter, you can certainly do that. So you pull this telescopic piece off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now what you can do is you can cut this shaft. Right. And you can cut this pipe, and you can get it about eight inches, seven inches underwater. So basically what you'd want to do is keep this shaft, this part right. here, right below the set screw. Right. So that you can uh, mount this to the shaft on the, on the motor. Right. And then this can pop right in place and then you'll have, you'll have a very little displacement. Gotcha, gotcha, that's pretty neat. Yeah. So how much do, does these units cost? Okay, so the Coral goes for 270. Okay. And then the shafts are extra, they're sold separately, those are about 70, 80 bucks, depending on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the Pacific is 350 and again the shaft is um, that's all, uh, not included. The other thing you can add into is a this is a frag rack so you can pop this right on as well. This, oh this okay okay right okay. On, right? Gotcha. And then also we have cord keepers that have been added to these. So you can pop your little cords in there so you can run this up and see instead of using the zip ties which is the original design, we actually had them put uh, cord keepers on there so they can run the cord up the top. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. It has, I like the fine details that you guys thought of because you know we don't like it messy and, and such, you know, and like we want everything to be like almost furniture grade if possible. Right. 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 And that is pleasing to the eye. And right. you guys did a great job with right. that. And these are constantly evolving. So as we get more feedback, we right. take it back to Mark and um, uh, and Paul, and they're constantly changing out the design of this to make it more uh, accessible, more f more feasible for what the hobbyist wants. So right. we're, we're taking into all that account. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Well, Todd, thank you so much for taking your time. I know you're busy today. I know you're late for your dinner. Yeah. I don't want to hold you too much, Man, but thank you so much eat. for spending some time with me, explaining your product. Yeah. I'm sure that I'm very interested in this, and I'm sure our viewers are very much interested cool. in this as well. So thank you so much once again, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Let's enjoy the show. you again. Likewise. All Have right. a good one.